Hey guys, thank you for visiting my China Medical System with Miss K. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. My name is Kendra, aka Miss K. I'm a medical assistant instructor. I'm also a CPR and first aid instructor. So today I'm going to be giving you guys some business ideas for a medical assistant. And I did a video on this before, but I'm going to give you guys uh, some more, um, just more specific things that you maybe can do. And um, I was sitting here, I'm sitting here on my couch and I was literally about to go live. And I just decided, let me just do a video instead of doing a live and then answering questions in between as I go. Let me just get it out the way. And then if you guys have any questions, of course, you can always feel free to leave them down below. But um, like I mentioned, I did a video on this before, but I wanted to give more specific things. And I will say this, I said this in the first video that I did on this topic, and I stand by that. And that is thinking about things that you are good at, that you can make money um, helping someone else become good at, okay? So think about that. First thing I wanna uh, go over, and I mentioned it already, is uh, becoming a CP on first aid instructor. It is a business for me. If you are a medical assistant, right, you work around other people that have to be CPR and first aid um, certified like you, right? I When I first started, I was working in a practice that had 10 doctors. So I was doing a certification for the doctors as well as everybody else in the office. And we had four offices at the time and everybody in the offices had to be certified. So guess who was doing the certifications? I was. Guess who was making money? I was. And to the point where they even, before I, be, before I got certified, they had someone that they were using, but because I was an employee, they decided to use my company instead. And that's not even including everybody that was in the building that would call me. So I worked in a building where there was an urgent care center um, downstairs on the first floor, and there were other doctor office, doctor's offices in the building. And so we had a cafe downstairs. I would leave my card and my flyers down there, and I was constantly getting calls. Not even just doctor's offices, but you got daycares. They need to be certified. You have um, security companies, and then you just have regular day-to-day -day people that just want to be certified. Churches, different organizations want to certify their people. So definitely look into becoming a CPR first aid instructor. I do have videos on that on this channel. So you can search them. And I'll also link uh, uh, one or two of them down below this video. Okay. Another business idea for medical assistant is selling products. So you can sell products that you create, right? Like um, jewelry. I know someone that's in my group on medical on Facebook. It's called the um, Medical Assistant Lounge. Um, they sell like little medical pens and things like that. So that's an idea. Or maybe those little... Um, those little uh, on the Crocs to open the, the Crocs with the holes in them. There's little clips that you can sell. You can do that. You can sell t-shirts. Medical assistant t-shirts is a big thing. Nursing t-shirts. A lot of what I'm mentioning today, medical assistants, nurses, you know, anybody in the medical field can can pretty much do some of these ideas, but I'm um, sticking to medical assistants. Um, t-shirts is a big one. Mugs, mouse pads, like anything. I mean, you can anything that you can put a medical assistant a picture of a medical assistant in her uniform or maybe some type of catchphrase by medical assistant i'm telling you also scrubs as a medical assistant you wear scrubs everybody you work with wear scrubs right so many people these days are getting into the scrubs business if you look on youtube there's so many different videos on how to get into a scrubs business so you can find what you need here on youtube you can google it right it's something that i've actually looked into myself and you need to just think about things that you utilize yourself, right? And things that the people around you need. Those are some some good some good ideas when it comes to products. Think about things that you need and that your your colleagues need, right? The people around you, the doctors, the nurses you work with, the other medical assistants, right? Think about things that they need. Another thing you may want to consider is becoming a consultant. Now, when I say consultant, I mean like maybe a resume consultant. Maybe you help people land job interviews right um there are quite a few people in my group that actually do this very thing they are all medical assistants and they and they um help people uh, work on their resumes and cover letters and you may hear that and say wow you already have three people in your group doing that while there are people that are already doing it never think that a field is so saturated that you can't get into it as well um especially since you guys are not in the same area anyway right so if that's something that you desire to do and you feel like there's so many people already doing that because it is, it's a lot. I see it not just in my group. I see it on, you know, on YouTube. I see it, you know, advertised online and stuff like that. It's okay. 
anything that I mentioned here that, that you feel like, oh, it's so many people doing it already. It's so many people in the world. There's enough to go around for everybody. The next thing that I want to mention is becoming a mobile phlebotomist. Now, I worked for a company years ago and um, I would go to people homes and draw blood and do an EKG and if they needed a urine sample, I would get urine from them as well. And it was for a life insurance company. So this company was ran by a husband and wife and they were like medical assistants as well. So depending on where you work, you may be able to create a company like this where you don't necessarily have to be under the supervision of a physician. You may or may not, but if this is something that interests you, just search, you know, mobile, how to start a mobile phlebotomy business in your area. And, you know, the company that I work for, it, it was for um, life insurance. These policies were like million dollar policies. So people, they needed a physical first. So again, I would just go to their homes and the company was paying me depending on the insurance company, I would get paid maybe like $25 an hour or $35 an hour. So just imagine what the owners of the company were making. The next thing you might want to consider is starting a YouTube channel. Once you get across the threshold of getting monetized on YouTube, you can make some pretty good money on YouTube. You know, from YouTube paying you as well as from brands reaching out wanting to pay you to review their products. Um, you can start offering your services. So you're already offering a free service on YouTube by you know, um, giving information, right? And you start building a community and then you start offering services or products, okay? And you don't have to necessarily start a medical assistant YouTube channel. I I see some medical assistant um, YouTube channels here where they, with the girl, one of the girls, she does hair. So she has hair videos as well, M makeup videos, uh, get ready with me videos, right? Um, one girl, she travels, so she shows her traveling, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be medical assistant, but if you do, want to do a medical assistant YouTube channel, I'm going to do a separate video talking about uh, that, like just some different ideas you can do as a medical assistant on YouTube. And along the lines of uh, YouTube, you may want to think about blogging. If you ever went to a website and you notice there's a bunch of ads popping up or maybe you see ads on the side, that's because people are paying that blogger to be featured on their site. So if you create like a blog, it could be a healthcare blog. It could be about funny stories you experience as a medical assistant. It could be about anything that you want to talk about. And then people will start paying you to advertise their business on your website. The next side hustle a business idea is becoming an author. If you are someone who has a, a book idea and you feel like you want to be an author, you want to write books, go for it. Once you write that book one time, you continue to get paid for it every time you sell it. You do the work one time and you get paid to sell that book over and over and over again. So, you know, um, it could be a story about your life. It could be fiction if you have some story ideas in your mind, right? And then that leads me to the next thing, and that's becoming a speaker. Once you become an author, it automatically leads you to speaking engagements. I'm an author. I've written four books, and I've also published a couple other authors. Um, and just being an author and writing about certain topics People invite me to speak on certain topics and some of those speaking engagements are paid. When I first started speaking, I did not charge at all. And I would sometimes get what's called a love offering, especially if I was at a church, they would give me a love offering. I maybe if they may have been there just sharing something from my book and um, they will give me a love offering, even though I wasn't charged. And one time I got like $250. I didn't charge this church anything. I just went to speak. I actually went to go do poetry because I'm a poet as well. I do spoken word. And so I went to do a poem. And when I left out, they gave me an envelope and a car and it was $250. And then, you know, so speaking can also be lucrative, especially as you, you know, get, get better at it and become more of an expert in certain things. And you may already be an expert in something. I'm speaking as if you are new, but you might be watching this and like, Miss K, I've been doing this for years already. You know, you know you. You know what you're good at. You know what you're an expert in. So, you know, the purpose of this video is to help you guys excuse the sirens and my background. Sorry about that. So as I was saying, the purpose of this video is to help you to start thinking about business ideas that you can start doing that you know that you can do. Some things that I mentioned here may not be for you. You may hear two or three things that you may want to try, right? And then none of this may appeal to you. This is why I want you to start thinking of things that you can do, things that you are good at, that you can do, that fit you and your personality. 
Now, the next thing I want to mention is Airbnb. Now, the first thing you want to do is check the guidelines for your city and state because in some places you have to own and some places you can rent. So whether it's a house or an apartment, check your guidelines. But with the amount of travel agencies that hire medical assistants and nurses, you can make a lot of money if you are an Airbnb host. And there's other um, agencies, not even just Airbnb, but there's other companies that you can go through to do short-term term rentals. So look up the laws in your area and find out how you could possibly get a short-term rental. So that way you can get contracted with these companies that's hiring the, the traveling nurses and hiring the uh, traveling medical assistants. So that way you can be making money on those short-term rentals. Now, this next thing that I want to mention is something I'm pretty sure people don't really talk about or think about because it was something that I didn't even know was possible until I got contacted to do this. And that was becoming an expert witness on a medical case. And you might hear that and say, well, how is that a side hustle? Listen, there are actually people who list themselves as expert witnesses with different companies so they can be contacted when a law firm needs an expert witness and i always thought that only a nurse or or a doctor could be an expert witness but actually there are some cases in which they may need a medical assistant as an expert witness i was recently an expert witness i'm actually the the case is actually still going on i cannot go into details but i can share that i'm an expert witness i was contacted they found my youtube channel and they needed a medical assistant and what they do is they ask you basically when you become an expert witness, they just want to know, in most cases anyway, what a medical assistant should have or would have done in that instance, right? So we're not advising, we're not giving, we're not acting outside of our scope in any capacity. We're just acting as a medical assistant and we are giving our expertise, right? We are the expert witness, right? And so there's different companies, some are paid and some are free that you can list your information with and you do get paid for your time, okay? You can set your own um, you can set your own rates and that's how you make money. And I can probably do another video on it at, a, at another time if you guys are interested in that. But the very last thing that I wanna talk about is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is when you get paid to drive people to a certain website. So for me, I do Amazon affiliate marketing and I'll list that link down below so you can sign up if you're interested. I shop on Amazon a lot. I'm always on Amazon. I have to will myself not to get on Amazon. So if you are like that, if whether it's Amazon or any other website, if you want to make some extra money just by referring people to the, the site where you buy things, I'm telling you affiliate marketing is the way to go. It may be a little here and there at a time, but it adds up the more people you get to buy your product. So let's just say you start the YouTube channel, as I mentioned earlier, and you feature some products that you have bought and then people start watching your videos and clicking those links, you get paid every time, right? And you, if you guys have been following me for a while, you probably saw my video on medical assistant must-haves. Because I'm an Amazon affiliate, I, got, I get paid for every time someone clicks those links. And you do have to give the disclaimer that you are an affiliate, okay? Legally, you have to give the disclaimer like, hey, I get commission for these products. So whether it's Amazon, any website that you shop at a lot, look for an affiliate link or or if they have some type of an affiliate program um i don't even like now i don't even shop first before now trying to see if they have an affiliate link <laughs> um so just think about that um there's another one ltk look up ltk how to be a ltk affiliate if you can't become a ltk affiliate you have so many different brands there's um um Shein, there's macy's there's target there's any, pretty much anything you can think of. If you can become an LTK affiliate anywhere that you shop, you can get affiliate links. So you ever see those videos where, you know, the get ready with me videos or the Amazon hauls or fashion hauls and Shein hauls. I'll actually do those videos as well, but I do it on, on another YouTube channel that I have. And what I do, I list my links. So if people buy them, I get a commission. Commissions are small, but they add up. So I think on my Amazon uh, so I've made about $150 so far. So it's it's a slow, it's gradual, but that's why you want to get people to to watch your video so they can click your links and they can buy. And that's a YouTube um video, that's a YouTube channel I did there is 
a, a channel where you review certain products that you want to buy already not necessarily spend the money just to make money but products that you know you're going to buy anyway you were already going to buy this so why not do a video about it and then make some money from other people buying it all right oh one last thing that i cannot forget to mention and that is cashback apps and you might hear that and say how can i earn money from cashback apps how is that a side hustle so this is the thing i want you guys to look at this so always remember that anytime you can save money or get money back that's money earned so remember that money saved is money earned okay cash back is money earned any money back in your pocket is money earned okay any money that you can save is money earned and um the 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 cash back app that i use is called Rakuten. And I'll just share this. I took a trip back in 2022. I think I spent about $1,000 on a trip. Used my cash back uh, link and I was able to get $50 back, right? I'm in a wig group. I do wear wigs. This, this group is called Love Me. And I shared in that group, I said, hey, ladies, every time I get a wig from Love Me, I get cash back. So if you guys want to get cash back too, this is my my link to sign up for Rakuten. And um three of those ladies signed up. So I got $30 per person that signed up. So that's another thing too. That's a form of affiliate marketing because as people sign up, you can get um, money for signups too. Once they sign up and then they spend like $30, you guys both get 30. I think they might get 10 and you get 30 or vice versa. You both get 30. I can't remember, but it's a form of affiliate marketing. You both get paid every time they sign up. So it's a, it's a win-win. You get cash back on your purchases and then you also get money when people sign up to get cash back so it's a win-win i'll leave that link down below and i don't even use i don't even buy anything without first saying if i can get cash back now if i can't it's fine but i always check to see if i can get cash back even if it's just a dollar and you got to look at it a dollar saved is a dollar earned now just imagine if every time you make a purchase you get a dollar back that's dollars earned so i hope that this video was helpful if you guys have any questions, if you need help to start a business or if you need help, you know, strategizing to figure out how you want to do this, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one session. My links are always in the description box. Tax time is coming up. At the time of this video, it is February 2024. Some people get an income tax check and for, for many of you, this is the only time of year that you get access to a significant amount of money. Please, please do not waste your money you know, use it to invest in a business or side hustle that's going to make you more money. Invest in yourself, okay? If you want to do something for yourself, that's fine. But please think about the long term. Think about what you ultimately want in life. If you want to be financially free, debt free one day, you got to start thinking about ways to invest and make money. You want assets. Assets make you money. Liabilities cost you money, okay? And that's a whole nother topic. I do videos like that on a couple other channels. Yes, I have three. I have actually four channels, but I have three channels that I post on. So, you know, like I said, if you need help, I'll leave that link down below. I can help you go over some business ideas and get your business structure right and help you with like certain things like becoming an author, help you guide you in the right direction with that and your YouTube channel. Most of the things here that I mentioned, I can help you along the way on. So, you know, feel free to follow that link and book a session with me or you can just feel free to if you have a question a simple question leave it down below or email me my email will be down below thank you again for visiting my channel be blessed